You're listening to 1520 AM WCAG Westchester with Jay and Randy mornings 9 till 1, Ron Swap Shop 1 to 3, and the best rock from sunrise till sunset. Heard worldwide at WCAG1520.com. So do I uh, get to meet Kelly before the show or what? Nah. Kelly likes privacy before showtime. But after the show, if you want, for an extra 500, you can f*** Kelly. Really? Sweet. Yeah. So where are we doing this thing? Oh, right inside the restaurant. You're kidding. Not spacious enough? No, it's plenty spacious. Just kind of weird, isn't it? Kind of weird? You're in the bestiality business, dude. Hey, f*** go. We like to call it interspecies erotica. Intriguing. Westchester, it's the Jay and Randy Show with your hosts, Jay Shore, a self described Ronald Reagan Republican, and Randy Dasher, an extremist libertarian who thinks Ron Paul is the second coming of Thomas Jefferson. Now, reach over, crank up the volume on your radio, and find out why freedom of speech is the First Amendment. Here's Jay and Randy. Yay! Hello there, Westchester. Top of the morning to you. Hope you're all ready to, uh, Participate in another fine day of broadcasting here on the uh, Mediocrity and Broadcasting Network on this beautiful Wednesday. If you want to join in on the show, 610 692 3131. 610 692 3131. Yes, hi, Jay. Hello, Jay. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Good, good. All right. Any reason we're doing the show in the dark? Or yeah. Or what? I don't know. Why are you doing the show in the dark? I'm, Jay, I've been sitting in here. I'm not the one that's working the light switches there in I another room. It. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll get it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> how, how the... I, I almost said the F word. How the hell would, <laughs> would I have ch- changed the lights? <laughs> Thank you. Why are you changing the lights? <laughs> I've been sitting in the same chair. All the lights are going on and off in here. <laughs> Jay, how how would I have changed them? How would I have turned those lights on and off? I thought that <laughs> the switches are a hundred miles away from me. I'm sitting here in the chair playing all the stuff that just played for the past ten minutes. Uh huh. Uh huh. I thought you had a like a remote a turn remote off. light switch turner yeah, off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you dope. All right. What did you uh, do uh, last night? Uh, well, I didn't do much. Anything. I made some calls. So, yeah? Yeah. Just mm. some personal calls. So, okay. Uh, started watching TV. You used your telephone? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I used my telephone. Mm, okay. Yeah. I uh, I worked here and then uh, recorded a commercial after the long marathon day and then uh, went home and my wife made me dinner and I went to sleep immediately afterwards. Wow. Yes. So wow. I, was, I was like in bed with the covers pulled up over my head, mm. listening to uh, Keith Olbermann's show, and probably fell asleep three seconds after that, and uh, and uh, woke up, uh, you know, a good like ten hours later. So, so uh, there you have it. So I didn't really get to see too much news or too much of what's going on. I, all the you know, I woke up in the morning at, at five thirty. I watched a bunch of news and stuff this morning. Uh huh. Uh, evidently, Barry, uh, Barney Frank's all over the news discussing uh, discussing AIG and so forth. Yeah, um, he had some uh, some some things to say. I guess he was on something called the Today Show yesterday. Yes, uh, he was talking on there as well. I couldn't find what 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 he was saying. He was on a show this morning. Mm-hmm. He has a funny voice. He sounds a little bit like Cartman or something. But uh, really. Yeah, you know, you guys are AIG. Yeah, he kind of has that thing going on. Here and he by is. the way, it does appear to me we're rewarding incompetence. 
uh, forget about the legal matter here for a second. These bonuses are going to people who screwed this thing up enormously, who made terrible decisions. So since the federal government now, thanks to the Federal Reserve's use of its power under that 70-year-old statute, now essentially owns that company, maybe it's time to fire some people. I, we can't keep them from getting their bonuses, but we can keep some of them keep continuing in their jobs. And I am very skeptical that these uh, retention bonuses, uh, these people got retention bonuses. Well, if they were in high school, they wouldn't have gotten retention. They would have gotten detention. And uh, He's a funny guy, because... If they wouldn't get the retention, they would actually would get the detention back in high school. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he's right on that. He's right on a few things. I like when he was teamed up with Ron Paul uh, trying to get rid of the federal uh, law that makes it illegal to, you know, sell marijuana or possess marijuana. Yeah. When you got, you know, half the states are smarter than the federal government, realizing this is like the one, the one drug that can actually, you know, uh, help some people that have glaucoma and cancer and AIDS and other various uh, diseases, you know, marijuana could be like the one thing that could help them. And it would be so cheap if it were legalized. Mm -hmm. Well, we can help them. They certainly should uh, allow it. Yeah. The government should allow it. Yeah. So I, I applaud the, him for that. Yeah, on the other hand, he, he's, one, he's one of the people behind, not him entirely, but he's one of the people help cause this um, economic problems. When he, when they, he, uh, at Freddie Mac, uh, loan people to, uh, you know, uh, encourage Freddie Mac to uh, loan, uh, make uh, mortgages to people who really couldn't afford them. Hmm. Buying houses they can't afford. He's one of the people that made that a law that Freddie Mac well, has he, to. Well, he um, he he just he was involved in that, saying that uh, he wanted to get uh, have put more people into housing. Yeah. yeah. So he he either I mean, encouraged it. Did he make it a law? I don't know. I don't know how what he how he was involved, but he was involved in it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know that he. You know, I'd like to know what he sp specifically did. I mean, did he create a law saying that Freddie Mac has to loan people that can't afford it money, like they have to? If he did know. that, then yeah, he's a he's a he's a turd. Mm -hmm. But if he. Uh, you know, if he just said, oh, I think people should own houses, well, a lot of people say a lot of stupid stuff. I don't know what he specifically did. So, But he does have a funny way of talking. Hmm. I think uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the bonuses that they're handing out there, they should take the bonuses away. And they should not get the bonuses because look at what they did. I think we're giving billions of taxpayer dollars, and all of a sudden these the, the people are getting bonuses, and they lost billions of dollars with her. Well, I'm sure he was behind all the stimulus packages. Was he behind the stimulus packages, Jay? I'm sure he was. I don't think he was behind him. No? You, think, you don't think he voted for him? Do you think that, uh, what about John McCain? Was he behind the stimulus package, uh, 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 Jay? Uh, one of them. Anyway. Well, you voted for John McCain? Yes. Okay, then you're behind the stimulus package, aren't you? No. <laughs> well, how can you go on and say something stupid like that? <laughs> because I didn't vote for him for that reason. What reasons did you vote for John McCain? No, uh, taxes. Taxes? Oh, so are your taxes going to be lower because he printed up $750 million in stimulus? I don't know. You don't know? No. All right. I don't know. I won't know, know now. I don't <laughs> know. I like I that. that. I'm going to leave that up on my blackboard for everyone to see, giving you full credit, of course. Right. Okay. Do you get the obscure reference to Fast Times at Ridgemont High as I do an exaggerated version of Barney Frank? Yeah. It's pretty funny, isn't <laughs> right. it? Right. Someone might find that funny. Right. It might be a little too highbrow humor for this uh, station. Uh, Hi, you're on the air. I'll say. Yes. <laughs> I hope you have a rag to catch all your spit that you're probably... Yes, I'm getting all sorts of spit all over the place. <laughs> That's spit with a P. <laughs> um, I, I thought I just tuned you in. Yes. And turned you off. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no. Um, what are you supposed to be, Cartman's father? Carmen's father, Bernie Frank. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> Listen, on a personal note, I'm going to send you an email about um, something. If you can help me out, um, would you uh, respond to me one way or another, please? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is it about? <laughs> Kiss my. Uh, it's uh, you know how you do some things with the CDs for me. Yes. Well, I will. Well, uh, I. I only have two days to do it, and mm. I know you have a very busy schedule. Yes, I do. Um, 
but I will make it worth your while. Mm. I promise. Mm, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. All right, thanks. Uh, I'll thanks. email it to you now. Okay, you email that to me now. <laughs> okay, 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 goodbye. Bye. All righty then. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, 610-692-3131, 610-692-3131. Uh, here's some more of a Barney Frank. He was on the Today Show yesterday. The time has probably come now to look at it and get rid of some of them. You know, you had said that executives at AIG, uh, about them, that it's inappropriate for those people to stay in power at that company, what you just reiterated just now. Does that include Mr. Liddy? Yeah, of course it includes Mr. Liddy. Mr. Liddy is at the top of the, the list of all the people that I'm including right now. Probably. Um, I, you know, we keep getting bad surprises. Mr. Mitty's been there for a while. I know Mr. Mitty, uh, uh, my first contact with Mr. Mitty was when he called me last year uh, to see if he could enlist me in renegotiating the terms under which he got money from the Federal Reserve to make it easier. I, I refused uh, to, to get involved in that. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the, the time has come for the federal government to put some people in charge. We need to examine whether we can get some of these bonuses back. If we can't, as I said, some of these people, maybe they should choose between keeping their bonus and keeping their jobs. Uh, you have to fire a man for having his legal right, but I'm ready to look and say, this guy get a bonus? This is a guy who cost us X billion dollars? Uh, let, him, let him live off his bonus uh, and no salary for the future. But yeah, I, I, am, I am at this point inclined to believe we're going to have a... a uh, a hearing. Uh, we have a very good former district attorney, Dennis Moore, who's the chairman of our oversight committee. Uh, Mr. Kantiorski from Pennsylvania already has a hearing planned on the AIG. We're going to look at this very, very carefully and do the maximum to try and reduce the current outlay. But we can absolutely make sure that something like this never happens again. Well, you should make sure that nothing like that never happens again, Mr. Bernie Frank. It's ridiculous. All these people receiving bonuses and they, 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 they lost all kinds of money. The Jay and Randy Show. Best thing on radio since the original Howard and Robin. And the Baba Booey to y'all. Thanks, man. Take care. All right. Well, I'm done. I don't need to do radio anymore. Let's <laughs> get the ultimate compliment. On 1520 AM WCAG Westchester.